Commissioner? Hmm? What? I don't want any cruise travel packages. Is this a joke? How did you get my phone number? Joker gave it to you? I don't have time for this. I gotta fight some crimes. How many times you have people calling you, interrupting your day, try to get a sale, or as a closer that you have to close other people. You gotta cold call people. But at the end of that call, you feel like you didn't take a shower. Today, I'm gonna teach you three powerful cold call secrets that will help you close more sales and learn more deals. Cold call secret number one, you want to avoid cold calling. You see, how they buy is as important as what they buy. The frame of mind your prospect is buying before they make a single purchase from you is extremely critical. I want you to imagine this. If someone is interrupting you, let's say you're in the mall, you're walking to your favorite store. In the mall, someone, you know those booths? They say, hey, it's free sample, try this, try that. They are interrupting you from where you want to go. And when they do that, you're like, I don't want this, it's okay. Or sometimes you pretend you don't see them or you walk around them and you try to avoid them. That's what happens when you cold call people. Remember, people love to buy, but they hate to be sold. You don't want to be sold, I don't want to be sold. We want to know, we want to think that we are making the decision. We're making that final buying decision. So when you're cold calling someone with no prior relationship, with no value added to their lives ahead of time, the problem is you are trying to build that trust in a very short period of time. The problem is the minute you do that, they started off not trusting you, not liking you, being skeptical. And you think you can use your phone skill to overcome all of that. It's very, very difficult. I do understand in some cases, corporations, certain industries, that you are still driving your business with the telephone. Here's what I believe in. You don't have to buy my belief, but here's what I believe. That when it comes to telephone calls, telephone itself is a great conversion tool. It is a horrible lead generation tool. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments, people disagreeing with me. This is just my belief. You don't have to buy my belief. I think when it comes to lead generation, you're much better off to use marketing and so many other things that you could do to generate the leads. So all you have to do, all you wanna do is have people put up their hand and say, you know what, I wanna learn more about this. Then you get them on the phone. Instead of using the telephone to cold call and interrupt people and see if they would put up their hand. It's like on one hand, if they are interested in what you have to sell, they can say, you know what, I want to learn more about this. If you cold call people, it's like people don't want to move and you try to force them, hey, come on, put up your freaking hand. I don't want it, put up your freaking hand. That is the issue. So avoid cold calling. Number two, when you, you do have to do cold call, you don't want to just cold call, you want to turn it into a warm call. So when you're calling someone, do your research first. What could you do? Find out their first name, find out their, their industry, find out a little bit about their profession. If you're B2B, you're selling, let's say, to companies or businesses, that's okay. Research, LinkedIn profile, social media, Facebook, find out a little bit about the person before you even call them. Don't call them and say, hey, uh, is this John Smith? The minute you say that, right there, they know it's a cold call, they don't want to talk to you. Say, I'm busy, I don't have time, this. and they hung up on you. You don't want to do that, right? So find out about who they are. Worse, hey, uh, how are you doing, sir? Immediately, I don't. I have no time for this. I don't want to talk to you. How's it going, madam? Cold call, no good. You don't know who I am. I do not want to talk to you. So find out ahead of time, and then when you call them, if you have no prior relationship and you have to do it, then I would say call them and act as if you're getting back to them instead of you calling them out of the blue. Secret number three, you wanna set up the call in a way you want to get as many inbound calls as possible instead of doing outbound. Time has changed. Now with social media, with different platforms, with technology, there are a lot more things that you could do to qualify the prospects. Personally, and this is the way that I do it, I do not wanna to talk to a prospect until and unless they're pre-interested and pre-qualified and pre-motivated. I do not want to use the telephone as a lead generation tool. I want to use the telephone as a conversion tool. So what do I do? 
I use marketing, branding, social media to generate the leads, to generate the interest first. So then when they book a time with one of my closers, so I know that they have put up their hand and I know that they want to know more. So then it's not an outbound, it's an inbound. They have blocked all the time, scheduled the time, and put on the calendar, and they call in during that time. I know that when I call someone, I don't know what the heck they're doing. They could be taking care of the kids. They could be just taking care of some housework. I don't want to interrupt them. I want their full attention during that 30-minute call, during that 60-minute call, during that 90-minute call. If I'm doing B2B closing, doesn't matter. I want the full attention to see my demo, to see my presentation. Because if I don't have the attention, I will not be able to make that sell. I don't have the trust, I cannot make that sell. Now with what's happening in terms of sales, we are not, you are not selling a product, you are not selling a service, you are selling trust. And when you call them, you are the salesperson. But when they call you, you are the expert.